again, everyone. I'm Chris Lincoln. Welcome to ESPN Classic presents the 19th fight in the young career of heavyweight Mike Tyson as he takes on Steve Zuski from March of 1986. Tyson fought 15 times in 1985 and was on pace to do the same in 86. We showed him on ESPN uh, in all of his early fights. And um, during that time, you could see that he was, you know, uh, potentially a very special heavyweight. The fact that he wasn't just a powerful puncher, that he could punch from different angles. He, he had very good defense with the style that was taught to him by Customato. He had a lot of skills. Let's go to Uniondale on Long Island and watch Mike Tyson battle Steve Zuski, March 10th, 1986 on ESPN Classic. And we've got our main event in front of us. The long-awaited fight between Mike Tyson and Steve Zowski. Long-awaited, at least for the Long Island area. Everybody's been talking about the young man from the Catskill area. 18 fights so far in his professional career, just one year as a pro. He's won them all. He's won them all by knockout. Today, he weighed in at a career heaviest, 220 and one half pounds. And there's not an ounce of fat in that. It is all muscle. He's 5'11 and a half. And the man is probably the most talked about young fighter to come along since Sugar, Ray Leonard. And the man who'll be fighting tonight out of Broxton, Massachusetts, Steve Zalski comes into the fight a veteran, a record of 25 wins, nine losses. 14 of those wins have come by knockout. And Steve Zalski has been in with a lot of the top fighters around today, including Joe Frazier's son, Marvis Frazier. He's also been in with a top African by the name of Benny Canozzi. He's lost his share. He's been stopped, but he's never been off his feet. And now our star Spangle Ben.
underway. Out comes Tyson as he always does, pressing straight forward, doesn't wear a robe into the ring, doesn't wear his socks, just puts on the shoes, the trunks and the gloves, and he's ready to go to war. He's already shaken Zowski up with the first shot of the fight, and he almost looked disgusted that Zowski looked ready to fall. What a body shot with the left hand by the converted southpaw Mike Tyson, who unlike many southpaws, can crush you with either hand. His left hook, of course, is best punch, but his right hand right behind that. His jab is just an awesome weapon, but his body punching is one of the most awesome body punching heavyweights I've seen in years. 19-year-old Mike Tyson out of the Catskills, New York. Turned professional on March 6, 1985, and here it is just over one year later. He is now in his 19th professional fight. Has stopped all his opponents. Steve Zowski, though, promised, he said he wasn't afraid of Mike Tyson, that he'd be out there swinging with Tyson, boxing with Tyson. He has been in there with some real tough opponents. One of them, world cruiserweight champion by the IBF, Leroy Murphy, beat him on a 10-round decision and hit him with his best shots and couldn't take him off his feet. He's also been in there with Scott Frank, Mike Perkins, Benny Knossi, but he's never been in there with Mike Tyson. There's no question Tyson can punch. And his stamina, I think that was tested against Jesse Ferguson back in February of this year up in Albany. He went six hard rounds, stopping Ferguson in that sixth round. Tyson just picking his shots now, content to hit Zowski just about anywhere he can. Zowski reddened underneath the left eye. There's about one minute remaining here in the opening round. The referee, the veteran, Arthur Marquette. Solid right hand to the body by Tyson. Tyson looking to measure his man with body shots. Zowski moving, trying to keep Tyson off balance. But the best thing Zowski could do is not stand there and just to get in the center of this 18-foot ring and keep moving. Zowski with a solid right hand off the head of Tyson. Some people still question his ability to take a punch, but so far in his one year as a professional, he's never been down, he's never been hurt, he's never been rattled, shaken up. And I've seen him through the Empire Games, the Olympic trials. He obviously, I'd say right now, has as good a chin as any heavyweight in the division now. There's about 15 seconds to go in the opening round, and that's an accomplishment right there for Steve Zowski, who many said would not even survive the first round although it's not over. And we're heading to the bell. <laughs> Steve Zowski, who's actually having, I can't believe he's having his fun in there, but he looked up at the round card girl and smiled. After taking a beating in round one, he somehow found it in himself to smile at the round card girl. That's called a sense of humor. We're getting set for round number two. Arthur McCandy says, okay, guys, wait in your corner. There's the bell. And McCandy held up the proceedings for a moment while the round card girl was still stepping down. Tyson comes out, as always, trying to make every shot count. Everyone is a grenade. In this building, in 1976, took place the Joe Frazier, George Foreman rematch. The results, just about the same as their first fight with Foreman winning on a TKO. Zowski doing what he can to survive, keeping those hands high. He's sacrificing the body by protecting the head every time he puts his hands up high. Tyson moves in and smacks it. That time was a short left hook to the head. Zowski took it well. His legs, though, are doing a Mr. Bojangles. He's in trouble against the ropes. And that's one place you don't want to be against the slugger, young Mike Tyson, who has 12 first-round knockouts to his credit. Today, he weighed in at 220 and a half pounds. Zowski was 210. A 
swelling around the left eye of Steve Zowski, who is now taking the best Tyson has to offer. And you know that this guy is going to feel it after the fight. But unlike many of Tyson's opponents who come to grab and wrestle and just try to survive, Zowski is in there, as we say, like a man taking his lumps. And I do mean his lumps. He is getting red everywhere Tyson is hitting him. He's red on the left side from the body shots. He's red on the right side. His face is red. His left eye is swollen. Tyson standing directly in front of Zowski. There bends down with a left hook to the body, right hand to the body. Zowski doing an admirable job throwing back. Catches Tyson with two right hands coming in and a left hook. Comes up with a solid combination of about six blows. Zowski rocked back on his heels, but still comes back. The crowd can do nothing but applaud this young man from Rockton, Massachusetts tonight because he has come to fight. The man some say may be one day put up there with the greats. Mike Tyson. There's about 30 seconds to go in the second round. The first round was all Tyson as he backed up Zowski, but Zowski hung in there just as you see him doing this round. The scoring here in New York done on a round system. There's no standing eight count. The three knockdown rule is in effect, and there's no saving by the bell except in the last round. And it looks like Zowski will get through another one. I think the crowd is applauding the courage of Steve Zowski as much as they're applauding the efforts of Mike Tyson. And now the crowd roaring even more. And it's not for Tyson. It's not for Zowski. It's for lovely Julie in red. Now uh, Mike Tyson may have 18 knockouts, but lovely Julie is a knockout herself. When Mike Tyson burst onto the boxing scene, many believed that he would inevitably be the heavyweight champion of the world. Well, he got his shot in his 28th professional fight against the WBC champion Trevor Burbank on November 22nd, 1986 in Las Vegas. And here's Jim Gray now with a Sports Center flashback. His fight face intact, Mike Tyson was everything and more than he was billed. Trevor Burbick, the champion, had to know when he stepped into the ring that when he took off his belt, it wouldn't be back around his waist. In the first round, Tyson staggered Burbick twice, but the champion hung tough and tried to fight back. By the second round, Burbick was simply trying to hold on. He was knocked down early in the round, got up, then was floored by a vicious left hook to the temple. Burbick tried three times to get up, but referee Mills Lane stepped in and said that was enough. This is my best fight because at the moment my emotions were so intense. I was so intense and I, I was being professional, not saying I'm looking to hurt, but I, I was out for blood and I, and I, and I refused to be beat. I, this night, I, there's no way in the world I could be beat. I refused. There's no way. I think he possesses something that, that um, uh, people or uh, viewers or uh, the boxing game uh, hasn't seen in a long time. I mean, someone that possesses power like that. I think the only one that uh, possesses power, I mean, more, I mean, I mean, more power than Mike is George Foreman. Uh -huh. Yeah, and that was the only man that I, I mean, really admired and wished that I could possess his type of punching power. I mean, he could hit you with open, with an open glove and knock you out. And that's the kind of power I would love to possess. That fight is a bit down the road, probably the summer of 1987. So for now, Mike Tyson can sit back and enjoy and relish the accomplishment that he has become the youngest heavyweight champion of all time. As at 20 years of age, he replaces Floyd Patterson, who did it at the age of 21. Jim Gray, ESPN, Las Vegas. By August of 1987, Tyson had unified the heavyweight title with wins over WBA champion Bone Crusher Smith and the IBF's Tony Tucker. But right now, it's back to Mike Tyson and Steve Zuski. March of 1986 on ESPN Classic. So after two rounds, Mike Tyson has taken them both against Steve Zowski, but you've got to really commend Zowski. 
for the job he's put up tonight. He has taken a beating through two rounds against the slugger from Catskill, New York. Trained and honed by the late great Customato, now trained by Kevin Rooney. Tyson made his network debut in February on ABC. He took on rated contender Jesse Ferguson. Ferguson was more or less unwilling to fight that night and did a lot of clinching and holding. And finally in the sixth round, the referee called him a TKO loser when he refused to break from a clinch for about the fifth or sixth time during the night. A packed crowd up at Rensselaer's Fieldhouse in Troy, New York witnessed that fight. Zowski bounces a right hand off the head of Mike Tyson, who's not exactly thinking defense in there now. Some more awesome shots from Tyson. Tyson, one of the most magnificent in-fighters I've seen in years. Probably the best heavyweight on the inside was smoking Joe Frazier. Tyson may be every bit as good and possibly more so because his right hand, I believe, is better than Joe Frazier's. Frazier, Mike Tyson, a converted southpaw. But as I said earlier, unlike many converted southpaws, Jerry Cooney included, many of those converted southpaws do not have any power in the right hand. Tyson is not one of them. Tyson just committed to body work, really not looking for the head at all, looking to take this man out by chopping down the tree, working that refrigerator. Solid right hand to the body by Mike Tyson, who looks to be just getting some real heavy live sparring in there. That sounds in big trouble against the rope, but Tyson lays back. Because Tyson is an outstanding finisher. I think he's just trying different things in there tonight. The one thing I don't like about that, if you're working on certain things, you're just getting headbutted or maybe taking a thumb in the eye. So not tonight, he's a thumb in the There's a solid right uppercut, and I don't know what's keeping Steve Zowski on his feet. He said he was most proud of the fact that he's never been off his feet before. And now he switches for a moment to the southpaw stance and tries to rock two right hooks off Tyson's head. And about 20 seconds to go. And there is a solid shot. The Sadowski stayed up after that one. I don't know. Doesn't look like he'll beat the count. The count is eight, nine, ten, and this one's over. Arthur McKenney says he did not beat the count, and indeed he did not. A third round knockout, not TKO, but third round knockout for Mike Tyson, who ups his record to 19 and 0 with 19 knockouts. More than a sparring session tonight, but not much more. As Steve Zowski just tried, and Tyson knew it, respected him, and tried not to hurt him, and finally took him out of there. It was more of an accumulation of punches, but then that final blow put him down. He started to get to his feet at eight. And as he climbed to his feet, it was already the count of 10 from referee Arthur McKenney. And that gave Mike Tyson victory number 19. And managers Bill Caton and Jimmy Jacobs say they'll be fighting this young man once every other week for the next year, building his record to somewhere around 40 and 0. And then when he's 20 years old, send him up against one of the heavyweight champions looking to make Mike Tyson the youngest heavyweight champion in history. Floyd Patterson did it when he was 21 years old. And Caton and Jacobs feel Tyson can do it before that time. And indeed, the way he's been looking so far in his career, who's to say anybody can stop him? Mike Tyson was just seven months away from a title shot in March of 1986. He took on Steve Zuski here on ESPN Classic. Just another night's work for Mike Tyson. Mike. As he punished Steve Zalski for three rounds. And 
here's the official announcement. Late in the third round, Mike Tyson unleashed a flurry of blows, and that was it for Steve Zowski. Out in the third round, Tyson now 19 and 0 with 19 knockouts. Hey, Mike, there they go, boy. Got another fight going. Let's go. Okay, hold on, guys. Here we go. Right here, you look here, Mike. Like this. You're, out of, you're out of the shot. Right? Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I want to sound. It's getting to be a habit. Mike Tyson now 19 0, 19 knockouts. What did you say about your opponent tonight? He was game. Well, he was a game opponent, and I have to give him a lot of credit for staying in and taking some good punches. And for myself, I rate myself. I didn't like my performance. I have a lot of personal problems that I'm just getting over. But I'm, I'm going to do all to the best ability to be ready for the 29th with James Tillis. James Tillis is a very quick starter. That's why they call him quick. He's got fast hands, maybe the fastest hands in the heavyweight division. He has dropped Carl Williams in the first round. He's given Tyrell Big some trouble in the first round. What do you expect from quick? Well, I expect a good fight. But as always, I expect to be victorious at the end of the fight. It must have felt good to have a man in front of you tonight who was willing to fight with you, not like Jesse Ferguson and Mike Jamison, who just wanted to hold on to you and wrestle. Well, with an opponent like that, you're right. It's to my advantage because I could always afford, even though it's not necessary, I could always afford to lose some rounds, but always, I always have the confidence to know that I'm going to catch up with him because he's always there and he's not stationary enough. Like, Kevin Rooney, rate his performance tonight. C. How about you rate your performance? Uh, I'm always giving myself a zero. I'm never impressed. Have you given yourself an A yet? Never. Perhaps never will. Probably never will. That's perfection. That's what we're striving for. You're going to be fighting every other week. There's a lot of people who say that's good, that's bad. I'm one who thinks it's absolutely fantastic. What is your opinion of going as much as you can? Well, I have a hectic schedule. I can't, you know, and I don't think I should have. That's the, um, the point of being famous. You have to give up a lot of things and sacrifice, and I can't live like a 19-year-old, you know? He indeed is only 19 years old, and he's 19-0 with 19 knockouts. Mike Tyson on his way to the heavyweight championship of the world. TSN. Canada's sports leader.